Hi, I'm Dave Keith from New Designs Web Marketing. I'm one of the Drupal trainers here at New Designs. My role is to teach our clients how to use and edit their Drupal website. This video series is based on Drupal version 7, currently the latest release, as well as a custom installation of add-on Drupal modules here at New Designs. Your own Drupal website may be slightly different, but the concepts are likely the same. So, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to cover basic editing of a Drupal 7 web page. To start with, I'm going to grab my sample site. Uh, here I am on the home page. I'm not going to edit this one. It's a little bit more uh, complicated to start off with. Um, but I'm just going to go to a basic page, which is uh, part of the default installation on Drupal. Um, here's a basic page. And because I am already logged in and I have permission to edit this page, I have this button up here. It says edit and so if I click this edit button I go into the basic editing of a page I see that I have a page title I can change that instead of about you know this could be about a company name or about us um, but in this is where we're going to focus in the body region I have some content um, this editor right here, uh, it's a, we call it a rich text editor, and it has some basic editing features, not like uh, you would see in uh, Microsoft Word with tons of options, but really limited options. Um, we leave most of the formatting of text in the Drupal theme, and so what, what we would like to see here is just changing the text, um, doing some simple functions such as a bulleted list, numbered list, italicis, uh, italicize, and bold. Um, this video is covering just making those changes. Um, in future videos uh, in the series, we're going to talk about adding images, creating links, um, publishing or unpublishing content, revisions, as well as uh, some caution about copying and pasting directly um, from other applications into your Drupal page. Um, so anyway, you can make changes um, just like a word processor, a lot similar to a word processor. And I can uh, come in here and add um, item one, item two. And if I wanted to, you know, I, I move the text down by hitting enter, but I can come up to these two items and um, create a, instantly create a bulleted list. So if you saw that, I did it kind of quick. Um, but basically I'm using this bulleted list. I could change that to a numbered list and quickly create those items. Um, if I wanted to, I could bold those items or italicize those items like that. Um, when I'm finished making my text changes, if I scroll to the very bottom, I can select Save, and my work is now saved, and we can see it published. One point I want to make is that this uh, editing function is not a, an exact science. It's, it's really converting what you see here into HTML. Uh, we can see the HTML if I disable this rich text editor. Here is the HTML, and if you understand HTML, you can work directly in the HTML format, uh, or we can work in this, um, we like to call it WYSIWYG format. What you see is what you get. Um, but it, again, it is not an exact science. Um, sometimes there's spacing issues in this um, that you're going to have to work with because it looks like that. And when I publish it, it shows up in the actual website this way. So that concludes this part of the video. Uh, be sure to check out some additional videos for some more advanced features.